Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Tech Talks. This is Ryan here. And if you're not familiar, Tech Talks is one piece of a daily live streaming series from IK Multimedia, where we go over different tips and tricks for all your different gear. This week, we're going to be going over the Z-Tone Buffer Boost, which is a high-quality instrument preamp, a uh, little pedal that's going to give you a nice uh, boost and also include our Z-Tone circuit and triple topology. We'll get into that a little bit uh, deeper in a second here. But at the very end of our episode, we're going to be giving away a copy of Amplitude 4, uh, if we get more viewers in, we're going to be upping that up to Deluxe and Max. So definitely tell your friends, if we hit 50 viewers, that's Deluxe. 100, we're going to be giving you guys Max. So stay till the end. All we need is your IK Multimedia username in the chat box and a quick answer to a question for some engagement, and you've got your chance to win some great gear. So let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this pedal. So if you, if you look at the interface, you can see here you have a bunch of similar controls to the Z-Tone DI, which we spoke about um, two weeks ago. So look here, there's a gain control, a boost, Z-Tone. Uh, you have active passive switch for depending on the guitar that you're plugging in. Um, if you're a metal guy, you'll definitely use a couple of active guitars in your life. Um, bass players, same deal. There's a lot of active stuff out there. It just means there's a preamp in the guitar, and this is going to cut any gain staging that you don't need. Um, that might be necessary for a passive guitar, say um, a traditional Fender Stratocaster. You know, not all of them are passive, but most single coils like that are. But if you notice the Z-Tone section, you have a sharp and a bold. What that's going to do is dial in your impedance, and it's going to go from 1 mega ohm to 2.2 kilo ohms. Now that sounds like some crazy mathematical formula, but if you, I'm going to be playing it in a little bit, and if you notice, it's going to sag your pickups a little bit when you go to one side, or it's going to let them, you know, fully shine when you're on the other. Um, the sharp tone, I like to find somewhere in the middle, depending on the instrument. Um, this really just helps you plug in anything and get the best sound out of it. Um, if I see somebody notice the Axe I.O., that... Um, the Axe I.O. does use a similar circuit. It's the Z-Tone and the Triple Topology. It's all built into one. So if you don't have an interface, that is a great interface for guitar players. But this little guy is great for if you're um, a touring musician, if you play gigs, you know, um, on the weekend, or if you just practice at home and you want to take a copy of your signal, send it to your computer and record, but at the same time, get a crystal clear signal with extended frequency response and really just get the most um, out of your guitar this is the product for you. Uh, the Z-Tone DI, check out that video as well. That's going to be a very similar product for those of you who are in the studio most of the time. This is for you out there and um, live. One of the main differences between the Z-Tone DI and the Buffer Boost, if you guys have been asking, um, which I've seen a couple of questions, is on the back there is a power supply port uh, that is not available on the DI because the DI is mainly going to be battery powered or phantom power powered. Um, this guy is actually going to be the same. So today we've got him powered from Phantom Power with this little XLR. It is going to my iRig Pro Duo I.O. And I have another um, channel on the Pro Duo I.O. going to my amplifier. And that is sending my main out. So you have two different ways to route your signal to your amplifier. Or you could get creative. But this main out is going to allow me to use not only the Z-Tone circuit, but also the the boost circuit, which is going to help me get a little bit more out of my amp when I need it to. You know, it's great for solos. It's great for um, a part of the song where you want to stick out more than anybody else. Or say you, you like to um, you like to just have it on all the time. And you just want to hit the input of your drive of your of your amplifier. It works great with tube amps. Which, by the way, I met, I missed one great feature: the JFET and Pure switch. So this is actually going to be your preamp section. And if you're not familiar with the JFED, it's similar to a tube, and it's going to break up at the top um, with some harmonics, which sound really great. Um, if you're not looking for that, there is a pure that is uh, just going to give you a perfect, exactly what you're sending into the unit is what you're going to be sent out with uh, the best frequency response possible, minimal noise. Um, and it's one of the best parts about these boxes is they're super sturdy, and they've got much less noise than a lot of the competition. And I won't get into that too much, but let's go ahead and we'll take a look at what we can do here. So to start, oh, and if you guys have not, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we do this every week, um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays on YouTube Live and Instagram Live every other day at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, definitely stay tuned and we're going to be giving away stuff here on Instagram uh, all over the place. Uh, we want to show our appreciation to the users. So definitely stay tuned. But go ahead, take a look at my computer. So I'll just show you guys real quick. My audio MIDI setup. 
because I like to get into the tech stuff, is the iRig device. Now, that is my iRig Pro Duo, and I've got a, a buffer size of 128, but I, I try to go over this every week, is you don't necessarily need to have the, the highest or lowest buffer size. It really depends on your system and what you're playing to, how you're playing, and everything like that. Um, for me, 128 is going to be perfectly fine for today. I know some people like to go down to 64. Um, I don't want to push it that heavy, and the, millis, the the delay for me is not that crazy because if you're not familiar with just your ear to the amp, there is a delay time between your ear and the sound coming out of your speaker from the amp. So uh, latency gets some people, but it's, it's really not too intimidating nowadays. Uh, but yeah, so this is our iRig device, and what we're doing is channel 1 is going to be our DI signal. And that's what you see here. And I've also got a virtual reamp channel, which is going to be the DI signal, which is the, the channel one, but going into amplitude. So I want to show you guys how it sounds without amplitude and then with amplitude. And then I've also gotten a reamp output channel, which is going to a 2 by 10 little combo amplifier. Ooh. Sorry about that. Um, which is going to show you guys how the Z-Tone can affect your amplifier while you're playing live. And... Um, to me, it, it gets you a really wide range of tones. Um, I play a lot of different guitars from, uh, you know, Schechter active pickups to Gibson Les Pauls, that classic rock kind of sound, to old school um, Stratocasters that I like to use for blues, funk, and stuff. But with the Z-Tone and the triple topology, I can really dial in any genre with any of those guitars, and it, it blows me away sometimes. Um, I know a lot of people... Uh, might have trouble finding the best sound with uh, with virtual amps on the computer, and this this really does help. You know, not every interface is designed to have the best DI signal input. If you look, some interfaces don't even have an instrument level for a guitar. It's a line level input, and some people just kind of trick um, the device into working. You know, it, in a way that it works. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it there. But let's go ahead and let's check out some of the sounds. I see some great discussion in the chat. I'll be stopping here in a couple of minutes. But um, just just to remind you guys, every week we're going to be doing this. And make sure to subscribe so you get alerted of these videos. That's where you're going to get your chance to win some awesome gear. Um, I see some comments about latency. Knee deep in latency with all... Okay, okay. So that's very interesting. Latency is controlled by your software. And um, of course, better hardware will allow you to get better latency times. But at this point, it's pretty much all in the box. If you're having any troubles, you know, our support team is more than happy to make some suggestions. Um, you know, if you do have an older system, which I'm pretty familiar with using, I have a, I have a couple of older ones here. Um, it's great to bounce all the time. You know, a lot of people don't like to bounce because it limits their options. But for me, that that kind of helps me move forward in a track and get something done. You know, you can always save the DI for later. Nice. Glad to hear you, you ordered the Z-Tone DI. It's going to be a great addition to your to your setup. You know, I'm using it here with the Pro Duo IO, and you really do get a lot more out of these Class A preamps. You know, these are great preamps on their own. But with the Z-Tone, I can kind of just plug in any guitar, any instrument. It could be a synthesizer or anything like that. But, um... Oh, also, this Pro Duo I.O. is going into my iRig stream, and that is going into my computer here, which is how I'm broadcasting to you guys today. So if you guys aren't familiar with any of our stuff, definitely check it out. I try to go over um, the, the tech side of how I'm doing all this stuff, so make sure if you guys have questions about it, feel free to ask. I did a video on Amplitude 4 and Skype, and I went over a little bit about OBS. It's a great program. So let's go ahead and ju jump into uh, some, some tones. So uh, the last the last video, if you're if you're familiar, uh, Z-Tone DI, we did a lot of clean sounds. I did a bass, uh, a couple of different things. But today we're going to stick with the metal because I think a lot of those guys have been waiting to hear how this sounds with their guitars. Um, let's go ahead and start with the Z-Tone um, buffer boost, just the DI, just to give you guys an example. Okay, so... I'm just going to play a couple of chords here, and forgive my input jack here. It might make a little bit of noise. That is not the pedal. I've just got to repair that. Um, but So let's check it out on the sharp side, and I'm going to dial into the bold and show you guys what you can get out of this uh, rhythm pickup. already hear a little bit there. Let's go all the way to the bolts. I'm going to add a little bit of gain to give it a little fatness because you, you lose out on some gain when you go bold. Mm -hmm. 
so that you can hear a little bit of it really rounds out the tone and that's that's going to be on my um on my rhythm pickup i can also dial it in on my lead pickup and what i like to do about that is a is to uh, be able to use my lead pickup with a little bit more beef in it because some guitars, you know, the lead pickup sounds great. You know, the one right, right next to your bridge, it sounds great, but it's a little bit thin sometimes. And that's what I, I like this bold section for. And when you use the bold, you can push the gain. It really helps you dial in a really good sound. So let's actually, let's dive in to, let's do that lead pickup, show you guys exactly what it sounds like. And we'll go to the virtual reamp. <laughs> Okay, cool. So enough clean sounds. You know, uh, it might sound like a subtle difference when you are messing around with some of the clean sounds, but that's what really hits me is I don't have to worry about the EQ on the amp. I don't have to worry about, you know, the gain knob on my amp. I know what my amp is set to is what I want, but depending on the guitar, that can change. Now I don't have to worry about that. I don't need to change my settings on my amp, which eventually is going to mess with whatever other guitars I plug in and use that preset with. So for me, this, this helps, you know, use all of my gear whenever I want and make it sound as, as great as possible. So I do see a good question here. My mod passed along. Um, where is the default tone? Um, so if you wanted to go with the, the dry signal that's just going straight through, I would personally keep it here. Everything in the middle. Um, this is the one mega ohm. So this is a traditional pickup uh, a traditional input for most tube amplifiers, um, some audio interfaces. It depends on what you're using. Um, right here in the middle is where I like to start where I pick my kind of sound because some pickups need a little bit of beef and some pickups need to be thinned out a little bit or not even thinned out, really pushed to a more aggressive level. And um, I'm going to show you what that means because um, I'm going to play a little bit of metal here. I'm going to show you guys what it sounds like on the sharp side. Let's dial back the bold. But um, for those of you who are not familiar, virtual reamping is the process of taking a DI signal into the computer and then sending it through a virtual reamp plugin like Amplitude, which let's show you guys the preset I have here just so you guys can see. And this was just a quickly dialed in preset. And that's one of my favorite things about Amplitude is that all you need to do is pull up an amp really. And you have a great sound. Um, for those of you who like metal, I go over scream all day. This tone knob is a little bit pushed for me, but I'm going to adjust that with my Z-Tone control. Um, the noise gate from hell, if you guys have not heard about that, this is an amazing noise gate. What I like about it is that you can dial in the threshold minimally and then dial in the filter so you can still get squeals and have a clean signal. It's kind of amazing because if you guys know anything about pinch harmonics, they kind of die out when you add like a gate or a filter or something like that. Uh, this kind of retains that, and I, that's one of my favorite parts about this pedal. Um, if you guys are not familiar with the Dime series and you're a metal guy, this is this is one of the gems. Same with the Overscream. Um, there is some all other other great stuff like the Slash Noise Gate, but to me, this just takes it to a whole other level. But all right, great. So there's there's my preset. We're going through a triple rectifier. Let's see how that sounds through my Z Tone DI. Now let's add that guy in here. Almost exactly the same, right? So let's go to the beefy side. I'm gonna add the gain. You're gonna notice I do that simultaneously. And I'm gonna go JFET for now. Now let's go to the other side, bring that gain back down. Do that one more time for those of you who couldn't hear it. All right, nice and beefy. And now let's go a little bit thin, aggressive. All right? So you can really hear how that kind of like dials in there. And it's really cool for the metal guys because it takes a tiny, tiny little nuance to get a really great sound. 
So let's go ahead and push this boost just to hear what that can do with the virtual reamp because um, that's kind of what I'm doing with my with my over scream here is I'm pushing into the input of my, my tube amp. So let's do that again and we'll just go a little bit crazy here. Let's go all the way, all right, we'll start in the middle. See here, it goes a little bit too far from me. But this is perfect. So I'm just, I'm just playing some, some chugs so you guys can really hear a little bit about the tone and how things are changing. Um, I'm going to go too crazy. But that's my virtual reamp signal. Now I also have, like I said earlier, uh, I'm sending to a real amplifier. So if you notice here, it's going into 2, and the 2 is actually into a 57. My nice little solid state 2x12 here that just has a little um, metal tone pulled up. It's going to be similar to what you just heard in Amplitude. Um, a little bit different. You know, I have my fan going on. I'm not in the perfect room here, so you're going to hear a little bit. But actually, for those of you listening, um, we are going to send the signal out from the main out instead of the link. Normally, I would use the link, but I want to get the boost. If you use the link, you do not get any of these gain, um, sh the, the gain structuring. And that's important because um, those of you guys who like fuzz pedals, things that don't necessarily need a, um, a buffer or anything like that, you can use the link to go straight to the rest of your board. I've, I've done it with some, some great pedals and it really does let you match things in. Um, so yeah, the link does get affected by the Z-Tone, and that is because the Z-Tone is affecting your pickups. It is not just affecting the signal in the box. It's affecting your actual pickups, and that's why you want it first in the chain. That's very important. Um, so yeah, I'm going through the main out, so I also have my boost. Let's turn that off. We'll go right in the middle, just like he asked, and bam. So let's get this guy going. Now, I do warn you, it's not the most amazing metal amp, but let's check it out. Okay, so that's a little bit beefy for me. So I'm going to dial that to the sharp side and let's take a little bit of game out. Now that might be hitting a little bit too hard for some people. So let's actually go to the bold side and just give it a little bit of gain to push it back up. To me, that, that sounds a little bit beefy, but I want to boost it a little bit, so let's crank it. So you hear it. A lot of versatility just out of that one little amp that I'm using. And I've also got my virtual reamp over here. So I've got uh, tone for days. I can record my DI signal, my virtual reamp, and my actual amp at the same time with no problems. And I can actually switch between guitars and not worry about, you know, is this pickup going to hit this, the preset right? Uh, I'm sure you guys have pulled up a bunch. Sorry, uh, there, it's a little beefy of a, of, a, of a preset there. I don't know if you guys are listening on speakers or, or headphones. Um, but yeah, so it's going to give you a lot of different versatility. Personally, I like the reamp because it's you hear that there's absolutely no no noise right now. And uh, check this out. Here it's uh if you guys hear that little whine, now I have my ground switch on. I just heard it disappear. Let's let's go to the very clean channel, see if we can hear that. Okay, so I had I had a little bit of a ground hum earlier, and if you guys aren't familiar with with um, ground hum, it's one of the problems with connecting your amp back into something that's connected to the USB system. I have two computers connected here. Ooh, sorry about that. Uh, I have two systems connected here, 
that um, they are sending audio from each other, which can give you a little bit of noise. And um, that's what this ground loop is going to do. It's just going to suck all of that out. And it's just right on the side of the pedal. Um, bass players are very familiar with this. Synth players, um, USB power has inherent USB noise. Um, so yeah, great little tool, little um, ground lift switch on the side. Um, on the bottom of the pedal, you do have a nine volt battery option, which is great. You know, if you're if you're on the go. Uh, personally, I like the nine volt power supply. Oh, we have a power supply on our website for it, but it works with almost any um, common stop effects um, power supply. It's nine volts. Uh, I have to look up the specs, look at the user manual before plugging anything in, but definitely um, not set to a proprietary power supply. Uh, let's see. All right, great. So. Um, if you guys are just tuning in now, uh, make sure to like, and subscribe. We do this every week. This is IK tech talks. We're going over the Z tone, um, buffer boost, the boofer. Um, and we're going to be giving away amplitude four at the end of this episode. So we haven't quite hit the goal for amplitude, um, deluxe for concurrent viewers. But um, if we do hit 50, I will be giving away Amplitude 4 Deluxe, and then if we hit 100, that's going to be Amplitude Max. Um, so let's see. I have another great question. So what exactly is a buffer on this pedal? So um, a buffer is a tricky question. If you've ever built pedals, it's 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 not that complicated. It's a very it's a very small circuit. Which pretty much has a, a transistor and um, very small components, resistors, capacitors, and it just brings up your signal level. That's all it's doing, just a tiny bit. It's not um, like a transistor, like a fuzz would be. A fuzz would be driving your signal so loud that you're actually going out of the range and you're clipping, and that's what a fuzz is really doing. Um, you're just overloading the input. So a buffer is just a very low power transistor that just kind of brings your signal up a little bit. And the cool thing about this is that you're not only able to bring up your signal that little bit, but you're also able to control your tone in ways that you really wouldn't be able to do otherwise um, without seriously going into your amp and you know dialing in the EQ and trying to get some compression maybe later in the chain, you know, but this is all done right here. It's, you know, all in the box. You know, if you have an, if you already have an audio interface, that's great. You're already one step there. But you want to get your input to the next level because audio interfaces are just studios in a box. If you think about it, they have a headphone amplifier. They have an A to D converter, D to A converter. Um, you have uh, preamps, all of these things. Now, if you were to build uh, a custom studio, you'd want the best of each one of those components, and that's the point of the Z-Tone Buffer Boost and the Z-Tone DI, is to take your existing guitar input and take it to the next level. You know, if you don't have an interface, that's why we have this, the Axe I.O. But the whole point of these guys is really to get you guys the best signal level with the widest frequency range, the cleanest possible signal, and the best dynamics that you can get. So... We like to call it your guitar's golden channel, and you guys are going to be seeing that a lot. We're going to be trying to do a lot of educational stuff over the next couple of weeks. But um, if you guys have any questions, definitely shoot them in the box. Um, we're going to be giving away Amplitude 4 in just a couple of moments here. We're just wrapping up. Uh, we're going to ask a simple question in the box, and um, all we need is your IK username in return. So if you don't have an IK multimedia account, we're going to ask you to create one now. And uh, once it's created... Uh, we're going to ask that question. I'm going to let my mod get ready here for, for what we're going to ask. Um, and of course, if you guys have any questions about why we did the Z-Tone buffer boost, why we did the Z-Tone DI, or anything like that, please throw it in the chat. We're more than happy to answer these questions. Axio does have this, and that's one of the reasons why we created this, is because people have interfaces. There are professional studios out there that have... Um, the I boxes already, but this will help even those professional studios take their their signals to the next level. You know, um, if you if you play music out and about, I'm sure you're familiar with a DI box, um, a, a buffer. Not everybody's familiar with, but it's a very crucial part of getting your signal and keeping it perfect throughout the entire chain. You can see the Z Tone DI is very similar, right? The form factor is a little bit different because it's meant to be a DI box. Um, and you can see on the back, you have the XLR outputs. So very similar concept here, but for the studio musician, really. And for those of you who are just asking, this is actually 
the Axio Solo, which is on pre-order right now, but same concept as the Axio audio interface with a couple of unique things. And um, sorry, a little backwards here. But if you look, there is Z-Tone, there's triple topology, and there's even a really cool reamp output, which is different than the link output. It's going to let you take a signal that's in your computer and amplify it out to any of your guitar amplifiers, or anything like that. Um, for guitar players, it's great if you want to, say, re-record a tone, but keep the performance. If you're um, a hip-hop producer, you can send your drum loops out to a real speaker and then mic that speaker in a room and give it some real ambience. Um, that's probably one of the coolest things with virtual instruments is if you run them through a speaker and then back into a mic, it can really add some, some nuances that you wouldn't have had with just a virtual instrument. Um, but yeah, so... Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm giving away a copy of Amplitude 4 here in, I'll say, right at 4.30. So, let me make sure my mod is ready. And if you guys have any questions, throw them in the box. We're more than happy to answer. Remember to like and subscribe. We do this every week. IK Tech Talks, 4 p.m. Tuesdays and Wednesdays on YouTube. Every other day on Instagram Live. Subscribe to the newsletter and you're going to be getting a, uh, a schedule. So, That's exactly, okay, okay, great, yeah, so the, the, the reamp on the, the Axe.io is a very useful tool, and that is the concept that we're going behind with this link, and we're going with this main output, is that you're able to actually kind of reamp your signal in real time. Um, it's not necessarily called reamping, but to me, it's, it's, a crucial, it's crucial to get, you know, that clean signal. What if you love the performance, but you just didn't hit the wall at the right time, or you love the performance, but... You're missing your compressor, and it, it has to be on your tones, not the same. Um, great, so my mod just gave me the, the go-ahead. I'm going to ask a quick question here. Throw your answer in the chat box, and remember to give us your IK Multimedia account. Username in the chat box to enter your chance to win. So, we're giving away Amplitude 4. The question this week, I'll ask it a couple of times. Um, have you guys, what do you guys use um, buffers for? Have you ever heard of a buffer? Uh, if you've never heard of a buffer, that's fine. Just shoot a no in the box. If you have, what have you heard of them used for and why do you see that you need one? Or if you strongly believe that buffers aren't necessary, go ahead and shoot your, your opinion in the box. We want to hear what you guys think about this because to us, this is a night and day. This is taking your, your signal from say you're, you're semi-professional, you're making your own tracks, but you want to take it to the next level and get it to studio quality. This, to me, is that little nuance. Um, I'm sure most, if you've been in the studio before, if you've been making music, that little bit is really the difference between a polished professional track and, say, you know, a bedroom produced record, uh, which isn't anything wrong with that, you know? I've, I've heard of some people winning some Grammys off of them. Uh, but yeah. Just something to think about. You know, it's all about the gear that you use. Not necessarily, you know, where you're at. Okay. So, I see a no there already. Great. Not using a boost or a buffer studio setup here. Great. I mean, that that's how... Um, that's how I am usually, but if you are out and about and you're, you're gigging, this for me is, is perfect for a bass player because bass players always need a DI out. And sometimes the DI out, DI out on your amp is great. Other times it's not. And sometimes you have to put your signal into the hands of the sound guy. Some, not all sound guys are the same. You know, Some sound guys are great. But I prefer to have my control over my signal in my hands. So if you bring your own DI box or your own buffer boost pedal to the show, you can control what's going to that sound guy. And your tone is in your hands. Nice. Welcome back, Dan. And Yox. Yeah, so a buffer does help get the proper loading of your guitar. I know some people, I'm surprised I haven't seen this too much. Ah, we have an electric, electronic engineer here, or electrical engineer here. Sorry about that. Um, so, you know, a buffer is very, very simple circuit. Very simple. Um, but the, the, the important part is the quality. And this is a very low noise, um, high quality preamp. And it's going to get you a clean signal without um, adding any noise to your signal. It's um, going to help you get variety in tone 
lets you plug in anything to any source, and that's kind of the, the whole point. I'm seeing some great answers here. Direct guitar is one thing I've never been happy with. And even with the Sans amp. See, that's that's a great thing. I've heard a lot of people say that. And um, when I first showed the the Z-Tone and the triple topology to, to our in-office guitar player, well, we have many of them, but um, he wouldn't leave my desk because the DI sound itself was that good. We were able to dial in something that sounded like it was, you know, a, a great little um, clean amp. But yeah, so it's there's there's always you know a million ways to do anything, but to me this is this is a no brainer. So remember that question is: Have you heard of a buffer? What do you use a buffer for? If you have, if you have not heard of a buffer, or if you have any strong opinions on why you wouldn't use one, shoot the answer in. I'm surprised I haven't heard anybody say fuzz pedals, which was one of the reasons why I had a couple of objections to this pedal until I got it in their hands. Because once you have it in your hands, you see that it's it's not just a buffer. It's not just a boost. It's got so much more and it can dial in to whatever you were hearing before with just your fuzz or worlds of tone. So huge, huge difference there. Um, so we're going to be giving away a copy of Amplitude 4. Remember, um, tell your friends, the more people we get in the stream, the more we're going to be able to give away to you guys. And we want to hear your guys' voices. That's why we do this every week. Um, remember, like and subscribe if you haven't. And... Um, throw your answer in the chat <laughs> the chat box sorry the boofer buster it gets me every time buffer boost just kind of rolls off the tongue tongue for me as as boofer but um don't don't let the 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 name play mess with you it's a serious pedal it's a serious tool and it's super sturdy too um all metal casing nice little beefy box you're not gonna be worried about stepping on it you know, I'm worried about breaking it. These switches are actually really high quality. I had a weird question about this, so I might as well throw it out there. Does it remember the state when you when you turn it on and off? And you notice it actually does. So if, if you if you leave your pedal board and you come back, you're gonna have the same exact thing that you had before. So if you're uh, say you had to switch guitars in the middle of a gig, you know you don't turn your buffer on and you've just lost your boost. Very small details, but to musicians they make the biggest difference you know it can make a nice smooth performance there is a giveaway today we're giving away amplitude 4 and if you answer in the box right now you will enter to win um have you heard of a buffer if you've not heard about a buffer um just say no if you have give us a story um let us know why you use them if you if you have any strong opinions on buffers i know some people have have some so go ahead shoot those in the box um, it's, it's almost like asking about latency, you know, everyone's got their own opinion on everything. Uh, I had no problems today with the 128 buffer. Uh, like I always say, you can go down 64 if your system can handle it. Most systems can't unless they're designed for dealing with audio. Um, the question again is, are you familiar with a buffer? If you're not, just say no. If you are, let us know what you use it for. Um, if you have any strong opinions on buffers, that's an acceptable answer too. So we're just looking for you to join the conversation and jump in the box. Um, oh, great. My mom just threw another great example. So True Bypass. If you guys aren't familiar with True Bypass, this pedal is True Bypass. And essentially what that means is when the pedal's off, it's not touching your tone. You have a copy of that signal going straight, bypassing the entire pedal. Um, True bypass is very important to guitar players. Um, you're not just running your signal through this com this whole circuit that's off. You're sending it straight through with the proper switches. So true bypass is very important. This is a true bypass pedal. Um, yeah, it also buffer helps long pedal boards. You know, this is I've I've heard it called the leader of your pedal board. I. I I do kind of like that that topic. Um, if you guys are familiar, there's there's some pedals out there that I'll actually have a switch to turn the buffer on and off. Oh, looks like my mod is is wrapping it up here. So we're going to be giving away Amplitude 4. And if you don't win this week, don't worry. We're going to be giving away something next week and throughout our other live streams. Remember, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, 4 p.m. on YouTube and every other day on Instagram live. Um, and if you don't win today, I do want to mention this because it, there are a bunch of sales ending right now today. 
Um, they're 77% off a of Centronic. That's $69.99. It's a crazy deal. So that's done at the end of the day. Jump in. If you need some new synths, it's a great, great tool. Um, if you got the free OXA, you know exactly what the sounds are. And every instrument in Centronic works like the OXA. So once you make MIDI assignments on your OXA, it transfers to, say, you load the, the mini Moog, whatever it is. Um, we also have some other great stuff. Like if you buy uh, an Uno synth or Uno drum, today it was all month, but there's 15% off. So if you're looking for some new analog synthesizers, PCM drum set, uh, sorry, drum machine, uh, you have a great little option right there. We did Tech Talks on both of those to set them up. If you're not familiar, they both have editors, which are really useful and not that common when it comes to analog synthesizers. MIDI controllers, yes, but analog synthesizers, not too often. So it lets you use an analog sound with a kind of virtual instrument experience. To me, it, it makes a world of a difference and it gets everything that I need done, done. Um, the last deal that's ending today is buy a pair of iLoud micro monitors and get T-Rex 5 free. If you buy the MTMs, you get T-Rex Deluxe free. So that means if you buy speakers that are ready for mixing today, you have mixing tools ready to mix today. Once you register, you unlock all that gear. So check out um, links in the description to the promotions, links in the, the description to our live schedule. And... Um, yeah, dude, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, we're going to be wrapping up in a little bit once we give away the sample tube for copy. Um, you know, we didn't quite hit the goal this week, so tell your friends for next week. We were almost there for Amplitude 4 Deluxe, and um, if we get close enough, maybe I'll just make the exception. But, you know, spread the word, tell your friends, like, and subscribe. Um, you know, we do this for you guys. We want to get the gear in your hands. We want to hear what you guys think about it. And if you guys have any interest in topics for the next couple of weeks, throw a comment in the video. We answer everything. We try to get our eyes on you guys. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys again. Thank you for joining us. You know, it's all about you guys. Thank you, Jocks. Um, so yeah, let's let's wrap this up here and announce the winner. My mod is ready. So the winner, congratulations, Tom Wimsat. You are a new Amplitude 4 owner. You just got yourself a great in-the-box um, mixing tool, virtual amps, uh, stomp boxes, a bunch of great stuff. Um, so shoot your username into the description or into the chat box, and we're going to be getting you uh, the copy sent straight to your IK Multimedia account. Once it's there, if you already have Amplitude installed, all you have to do is register and you're good to go. You know, Amplitude comes with all the gear locked and loaded. All you need to do is register a serial to get it. Um, and yeah, Tom Wimsat, congratulations again. Go ahead and shoot your, your username in the chat box. And congratulations, man. Um, I'm sure some of you are thinking, wow, that was super easy to win a copy of Amplitude 4. So definitely stay tuned next time. Um, and while we wrap up here, I do have to say we have two other promotions. That's the last couple of days. I think they end on the second. Um, Summer Sounds, 50% off Sample Tank 4 and Sample Tank 4 Max. So if you've been looking for new sounds, this is the time. And June Partner Celebration, 50% off branded titles. So that comes with a bunch of Amplitude titles in there. There's uh, Hammond B3X. If you guys have been looking for a new organ, that thing is the bomb. Check it out. Um, links in the description. Um, yeah, you can actually rewatch the whole stream. We're going to leave it up for you guys. And um, yeah, definitely throw some comments in if you have any 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 suggestions, anything like that. Um, but thank you guys again for joining us. You know, remember that we, we do go live every day at 4 p.m. On Tuesdays and Wednesdays, that's YouTube. And every other day, it's on Instagram. And if you sign up for a newsletter, we're going to give you an actual schedule to keep you up to date and get your hands on some gear. We want that gear in your hands, guys. Um, so thank you guys again for joining us. Uh, we're wrapping up here today. Definitely watch the video through. This one was a little bit for the metal guys. If you play cleaner stuff, check out the Z-Tone DI. It's going to be a very similar way to affect your signal. Just different form factor and slightly different features. Um, and yeah, all of those promotions, there's three of them ending today. So check out the promos page if you've been looking to buy. Um, this is the last day for a couple of those. And they're great deals. You know, 77% off Centronic gets me. Uh, but don't worry, we'll be back again. We will be back again. And thank you guys again for joining us. Uh, it's always a pleasure. You know, Keep making music, stay healthy and safe, everyone. And uh, enjoy the rest of your week.